What's up Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series 6 inch action figure review. Today we're looking at Luke Skywalker, the first of the figures from the 40th anniversary of The Empire Strikes Back. Now that sticker is really shiny and the camera is having a hard time catching it, so I hope you can see that. I'm probably going to pick this one up, pick, try and pick that sticker off and keep it. Um, this is probably the only figure I'll get from this wave, also included the ones on the back there. Um, for the most part, these are all repacks. This is a slight upgrade from the one from oh, way back in 2013. So, um, obviously I've already taken him out of the packaging. Uh, we're going to compare this with the original and see how much it's upgraded. And uh, yeah, it's a good figure. Uh, this is picked this one up from a Kmart store down here in Australia. So, um, Let's dig in, have a look, and just see how he shapes up against the old one. Alright, so here is the figure out of the packaging. Now, for the most part, this whole body is a complete repack of the original. Um, new head sculpt, which is <laughs> absolutely required for this figure. Um, and it is paid off greatly. Um, we'll get a side-by-side -side look after I have a look at the accessories. So he does come with his lightsaber now this is a slightly different mold to the original you can see the gold switch on there compared to the original that one's jutting up probably a little bit more accurate on the old one um, but for in terms of your figures holding it that's probably a little bit better um, it is of course unpeggable and it does have that, that the hook on it that attaches to his belt so that that is nice you know, it does come with blaster pistol there in his belt uh, the belt was actually quite loose when I got the figure it was sits around the waist really well and it probably allows for good articulation but like the old one I did super glue it in place so I just put a dot of blast uh, a dot of super glue behind the belt buckle and behind that pouch so his still get a little bit of wiggle room on either side just for allow allows for that extra posability but it sort of stays in place and it looks a lot better in my opinion so we'll get a close-up of Luke's new head sculpt here I may need not that much light <laughs> There we go. So that's looking pretty damn good. Um, I'm really happy with the look of this figure. Well, let's get a comparison to the old one. Apples and oranges, if I'm honest. Um, this was quite good when it came out, the one on the left. Um, I did like the figure a lot. Uh, there was a few issues. Um, but they've certainly tidied up on the new one. And I'm uh, pretty dang happy about it. So as you can see, the one on the left um, did get a pretty heavy wash on the clothes. Um, whereas this one, it's not completely absent, but it's, it's much lighter. It's not as pronounced. Um, the one thing I did do with the old figure is I actually replaced the hands. Um, I had a spare Poe Dameron Force Awakens action figure, so I switched the hands out. Because um, what they did is they put the had the hands on, and then they've done the paint wash over the hands on the original. Um, thankfully, they've kept them clean on this one. It just it just it was really really distracting. Um, I'm pretty sure I did review this figure back in the day, um, so you could probably go back through my feed quite a way back through my feed and have a look if you wanted the original look but I mainly wanted to hold the old one against the new one because of the face because um, that just shows how far the technology has come in recent years and uh, yeah it looks really good it's the uh, Bespin, Bespin look we've 
been after for quite a while. So let me zoom out again, get a good look. So in terms of articulation, the figure was actually pretty darn good. Um, he always did get a good amount of movement in the elbows. They probably could have tidied that up a little bit and brought it in so his uh, elbow could bend at a little bit more of an angle. Um, but he actually does pretty well to get into the point where you can um, have him posed holding the lightsaber with two hands. So it was never that bad that it probably didn't need a complete retool um, in order to get this figure back out there. Um, so I'm quite pleased with that. Um, we know that retooling figures um, is not a cheap process, which is why we sometimes get some cheap budgety crap sometimes. Um, but overall, the rest of the figure is pretty much up to standard with what we're getting these days. The sculpt's nice. Um, all the articulation's pretty solid. The paint details are great. But yeah, it was just that head that needed a little bit of work. Um, and like I mentioned, the wash before over the top of it, it was, it was pretty heavy. Um, a little bit overkill, perhaps. Um, but this one's looking pretty good. I'm, uh, I'm liking this figure a lot. So, uh, articulation is as follows. Ball hinged, ball jointed head, ball hinged neck, ball hinged shoulders, ball hinged elbows, ball hinged wrists, uh, that torso joint there, ball hinge at the hips, swivel cut the thighs, double joints in the knees and ball hinges in the ankles there on his nice little moccasin Ugg boots. Um, so yeah, a, a, a de very decent figure. I'm very happy to have this one in my collection. Uh, it's a worthwhile update in my opinion. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Until the next video guys, may the force be with you, always.